Hey there, Patriots. So what we're going to be talking about today is our data plots, how to read them, what our data plots tell us. And remember, our data plots are dot plots, histogram, and our box and whisker graphs. So our box and whisker graph, this is the first one we learned. Remember, this one tells us our five number summary, which is the minimum, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile, the maximum value. Uh, our data will always be divided into groups of four. They're divided into quarters. And I do not know individual uh, data values, and I do not know how many data values are represented in the graph. So here's a picture of a box and whiskers. Remember, it's called, and it's about the uh, hours adults spent exercising last week. So every number represents um, hours spent exercising. So this is saying zero hours exercising, one hour, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, et cetera, et cetera. Now, so what values does this display tell us? Well, I already said at the very beginning, it tells us our minimum value, our first quartile, our median, our third quartile, and our maximum. When we're asked to find the mean and the mode of this data, I can't. I have no idea where the average is. I, I have an idea that there's some big numbers and there's some little numbers, but I don't know where there are. And I don't know which of these values repeated the most because I do not know the individual values. But I would like to remind you, so what they told us, though, is they gave us the minimum. It's right here. Right there's the minimum. Let me make this a little small. They gave us the first quartile. They gave us the median. They gave us the third quartile. And they gave us the maximum value. All of those right there. Um, what a box and whisker plot says, remember, it divides our data into quarters. What that means is I don't know how many people fall in this group, but 25% of the people exercise between 6 and 12 hours. 25% of the people surveyed exercise between 3 and 6 hours. 25% of the people surveyed exercise between one and three hours, and 25% of the people surveyed exercise between zero and one hour every week. Or last week, not every week, just last week, I'm sorry. Pay attention to the titles, it tells you what's being said. So when we look at our dot plots, the dot plot tells us the frequency of each data value, each data point, how many times each data point happens. Uh, I can easily identify the mode because the mode is which value happens most often. And then I can actually figure out median and mode or median and mean by writing down my values. So when I'm looking at the height of these giraffes measured in feet, I can see that two of the giraffes were 14 feet tall, three were 15 feet tall, two were 16 feet tall, and two were 18 feet tall. I can easily calculate the mean. Remember, the mean of a data set is adding up all the heights that we have and dividing by the number of heights. So 14 plus 14 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 16 plus 16 plus 18 plus 18. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 points. And when I put that into my calculator, I get that my mean, this little mu right here, it's the Greek letter mu, uh, it's about 15.67. Remember the uh, squiggle equal sign means I rounded. And then I can easily tell the height of the tallest giraffe. I just look over on the far right. How tall was my, this is my highest data value. That's the height of my tallest giraffe. And it was, the tallest giraffe was 18 feet tall. When we're looking at our histograms, remember again, they don't give me frequency of every data point. What they give me is the frequency of an interval. They say from here to here. They don't say here's 300 or 400. They say from 300 to 400. So I do not know those individual data points. So here is my histogram. Notice it's bars that touch. If the bars don't touch, it's not a histogram. It's a bar chart. Uh, we're looking at tree heights where we have the number of trees on the left. And we have the height in centimeters on the x-axis. So how many trees are 225 centimeters tall? How many trees are this tall right here? Well, again, I don't know how many are 225. I really don't. I don't know how many are 225. But I do know 27 trees are between 200 and 250 centimeters tall. But how many of them are 225? I don't, I don't know. It could be all 27 or it could be none of them. 
because this is an interval, not an actual point. So if it doesn't show individual data, why do I care about a histogram? Why do we use it? Well, it's actually a pretty great way to show a large amount of data and it's very readable. It's, look at this, this is very easy to read and I can put large amounts of data because we are covering an interval. All right, so if you still have any questions about reading your various plots, please make a note of it. And when you come into class, ask your teacher so we can explain it. It's, I'm glad that you stuck with me and watch this video. Watching these videos is very important to your learning. And Patriots, we'll see you when we see you.